our class coming in is probably one of the more decorated classes. We have five incoming swimmers. Four of them have national time standards or better, Olympic trial cuts. And so they're going to make an immediate impact on the team. Um, we've got a really nice returning class. Probably Brooke Brohl leads the returners. She was our um, lone upperclassman who went to trial, so she had a really good summer. Um, but uh, we've got a big group of seniors, uh, so I, I'm really excited about the leadership uh, capabilities of the program. And then we, with the newcomers coming in, I, I think we're going to have a real exciting year. Um, we're really um, uh, looking forward to the Big 12 championships. That's the, the big thing that we have the end of February. And with the new composition of the Big 12, we're real excited about um, where we're going to finish within the league. Yeah, we're real thrilled with uh, starting up a, a dual meet relationship with TCU now that they've been in the conference. They're very comparable to us. Um, and it's in Dallas, which is an area that we recruit a lot. And so it's uh, going to be uh, uh, good to have them back on our schedule again. It just makes sense. They're coming up here this year. And uh, we'll have a two-day meet with them in North Dakota. What's going to be interesting about that meet was that uh, both North Dakota and TCU will bring their men's teams. So not only will we have the women's competition on, but TCU and North Dakota will get in a men's meet as well. Um, and then Iowa State is probably now our our you know big rival, if you will, within the because we're the the original Big Eight, if you will. And um, we're going to you know in the in the dual meet season with them, and our both teams get real excited about swimming each other. Now, we're real excited about this year because it's a uh, more home meets than we generally used to. So uh, we're excited about the schedule. We've got a, a good mix of teams coming in and, and uh, really excited about going to Topeka for our fall championship meet. So this will be uh, the first multi-day meet that we've had, a kind of a championship format since, uh, since I've been coaching here. We'll have, uh, there'll be a total of five teams. Um, there'll be Kansas, Notre Dame, Nebraska, Iowa State, and Nebraska Omaha. So it'll be five teams, um, be an early season championship meet. We'll go through the same order of events as we would at Big 12s and NCAA, see where we're at. Um, we're not going to use the technical suits. The, the, the athletes will be using traditional suits. And um, uh, all five coaches kind of have the belief of that of letting those weight use the technical suits at the bigger meets uh, later on in the winter. So it'll be a good chance that we test our fitness and let our athletes have the opportunity to get, uh, see how close they can come to their lifetime best in a traditional suit, suit versus a technical suit. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's real important uh, to let the uh, younger swimmers, whether they be club or high school, know that there, are, there is a, you know, a competitive opportunity in state. And they, most of them do, but it's not very often that we get to, to, to swim. Uh, a big invitational like this, and they get to see what it's really like to be a collegiate uh, swimmer. And um, with our local athletes, there's going to be a lot of local interest, and so um, I think uh, there'll be good attendance there, and it'll be a, um, a really good chance for um, uh, the community to see what high-level swimming is. Yeah, Minnesota will be one of our best teams that we'll face all year, and getting them that early is a real good indication of where we're going to be. I know they have a meet even uh, earlier than, like, we, we'll open with at Rice, but they, I think they swim Michigan even a week before that, so they're going to be pretty sharp coming in, so it'll be... Uh, an interesting um, start of the year. We've given our team a big break uh, this year because it was an Olympic trial year and we've just been going at it since last August. So we may not be as swimming fit as we will be later on, but it'll be a real good early gauge against the top 15 program. Yeah, I think that the, 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 the format, especially a college swimming format, and seeing the Olympics is that it's it's really a, a spectator friendly sport and with the excitement that was generated from these the games and we have now four to six kids that are really focusing on 2016 in Rio so getting them uh, you know in the mix right now and getting them competing at high level is part of the preparation but the folks here in town are going to see them before anybody else knew about them so uh, College jewel meets are awesome because they last two hours or less. They're not like, a lot of people think about swim meets lasting all day and hot muggy area and all that kind of stuff. But college jewel meets are very spectator friendly. They're free of charge. And you're going to see some very, very good athletes. And so um, with the number of home meets that we have and then also the Kansas Classic, we're really hoping that uh, our home crowd comes out and, and uh, sees the, uh, 
you know, watches the, the high-level athletes that we have. Yeah, we're real, real excited about the, the opportunity to do this. Um, we've been working hard on doing a, a really nice train trip. We went to Puerto Rico last year, which was awesome. Um, Hawaii, uh, something that will be a first time for our team as well. And, and getting to spend a few days and, and do the Hollywood thing in, in, in L.A. and getting to swim a really good UCLA and San Diego State team helps break up the trip a little bit. We'll spend a few days training and racing in L.A., then head on over to Hawaii and get a week there and then race the University of Hawaii uh, to end our trip.